What's up, y'all? Hey, everyone. Today, we're visiting the largest and oldest mall in Chinatown called East Broadway Mall. I want to bet 90% of you probably never visited this place. I personally haven't visited in the last 10 plus year, a whole decade ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Not so much for the better, but I don't want to spoil it. Let's check it out. This is a mall. <laughs> so East Broadway Mall used to be one of the most bustling malls, super eclectic, has so many vendors in here. I think like about 80 vendors. Wow. Now here, I'm, I'm counting like 10, like on my fingers. At most. At most, 10 yeah. vendors. So let's hope that it's restored to its former glory. At some point. Yeah, soon. And here's an entrance to 88 Palace. Yeah. This place has so much potential. Here's a little X mobile store and now it's being repurposed into some sort of storage room. There's a little hair salon. Operational. Oh, yeah. Because they have two entrances, East Broadway Mall and the street side. Last time we peeked in and it was dark. We thought everything was closed. We had yeah. one person in here. It was very... So we turn around and walk back <laughs> Yeah, we're like, oh. <laughs> Wow. Now it looks looking a little better. Yeah, the lights are on. Ben did not need to bring his flashlight. So this one right here used to be kitchen appliances, kitchen tools. And now, I don't know if it's operational, but you still see some of the kitchen stuff here. It's very filled to the brim. What, what does that mean? Vivid bra. And here we have a deli. Chenju, Chenju Deli. Hey, another cell phone store. Cricket. Cricket. Operational. Cricket. Insurance store. Ah, nice. You can read. Thanks. Oh, because I did not know. Another mobile store. Okay. This is a shipping store. Yes. Herbs. 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 Ching, Ching Fa Lang. Hair, hair salon. Hair salon. Oh, it looks like cell phone, right? Yeah, but Sing Liang. It's, how do you say that? Oh, candy. Can, but it's like healthy candy. Like this is the guava candy Brandon was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff is good. Recommend. This one used to be a men's suit store, fashion store of some sort. Oh, and, and they're, they're building something. Yeah. Let's head down. Yep. We're heading downstairs. I'm gonna need my flashlight. Is anyone there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Blinding me. Don't blind the people. <laughs> Wait, it's actually bright down here this time. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh. Noise. Nan nu, it says nan nu, right? Yeah. That means man, woman. Man, woman, fashion. Jean uh, store. Another hair salon. Hair salon. No longer there. Here's a doctor. Oh, wow. Chinese okay. herbal medicine doctor. Oh, there's the bathroom. Wait, it's operational because I could go. Art this installation? Like yeah, art gallery. But this is for men's. I don't know what this is. I think it's insurance. It says consulting, yeah. Now is a storage space. Looks like boiler room. <laughs> Party supplies. Party supplies. The stalls in here do not get any sunlight, no windows, anything. That's how these people live back then. And even now, let's say try, try to like break down these walls and do something about the space. Marriage referral. Oh, what does that mean? Just... Seamstress. Yeah. Hey, you remember Bu Xie? Bu Xie Zi Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay, okay. Very cool. Uh, antique store. Good. Yeah. Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang. <laughs> There's... Hold up, this place is popping. Yeah, this place has some of the best dumplings in Chinatown. 
Fujinese food. Fujinese. Steamed dumplings for eight pieces. They are four bucks. Honestly, I thought this place was dead. Yeah, except there's so many people today. A very diverse crowd here. Yeah. Oh, we need um, soy sauce. This soy sauce looks very light. Yeah, I think it's more like vinegar. Mmm. You know I like vinegar. Steamed dumplings. This is a very greasy table. Yes. <laughs> and you're touching it. Yep. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I got all the chives stuck in my teeth. This pork is really delicious. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. For four dollars though, I wouldn't say it's super cheap. It's not. It's not. No. But it's good. It used to be um, less. Yeah. Definitely, the prices have increased. I'm not surprised if this is one of the spots that blew up on TikTok too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. right? It definitely has been on TikTok for sure. Yeah. People thought that East Broadway Mall is going to close, so that's why they're like, come, support the place. <laughs> so, that's why they're here. Pretty packed here. Mm -hmm. They also do wholesale frozen dumplings, so half the people here is actually waiting for that. I mean, you got this. Uh, those are some awesome dumplings from Fuzhou Wei Zhong Wei Jia Shang Feng Wei. Oh, Wait, did good. I get it? Yeah, you got it. Yo, lit. <laughs> <laughs> We're just I used to come here when I was like young, like, like elementary school. Mm -hmm. The ceilings were so high. And now they're like <laughs> feeling so low, especially for French. Yeah, how does it feel? Yeah. Right now? Does it feel the low in here? Very low. <laughs> yeah, it's a little low. <laughs> especially for a six foot guy. Yes. Something new is happening to 88 Palace. So this building's not gonna be knocked down. Let's go. <laughs> right across the street is the entrance to New York Mart. Let's go. All, all those clothing stores. Yeah, all the directory. There's a lot of hair salons and cosmetic stores, fashion stores, phone companies. From like from back when I was here, like years ago, there's a lot. I saw a lot of fashion stores. So right now on this side, there's a lot of clothing stores, mm -hmm. perfume, shoes. We got Brendan here. He's going to show us this really cool secret supermarket. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Below the Manhattan Bridge, right by Henry Street. Outside, there's a bunch of fruits. What else we got out here? Uh, man, most of just fruits. And then you head inside, <laughs> and it's the Hidden Chinatown Supermarket. Lots of cool stuff in here. I personally like these. The snack aisle. Yeah, the snack aisle, couple yes. aisles down. This is my spot. Yeah. I don't know what this stuff is, honestly, but it's. All good stuff. Yeah, it's all good stuff. It's Only. Awesome. The only people here are locals, including <laughs> myself. Yes. I live in Chinatown, so if you're a local, this is your spot, but definitely come through, check it out. Welcome to the snack aisle. Every little child's dream is to come and get something here. Or 10. This very, uh, this supermarket is actually fully stocked, which is great for the community. Yes, Oops. absolutely. Wait, Brendan, how often do you <laughs> shop here? I go to gorillas and shortages. <laughs> I come here, this is like, if I need something last minute, I always come here, grab a gallon of milk or something. And then when my friends are visiting, I always come here and we do like a snack challenge. So we'll just grab like three different things of, I don't know, five different things of what we have no ideas and we try it and That's super cool. interesting. I found some good stuff, like the candy aisles where it's at, I'm telling you. Nice, it is also sell cereal here. These massive crabs here, pretty crazy. We got Can Canada lobsters. Lobsters. Live. This might look very intimidating, but I assure you, it's delicious. Squid. <laughs> it smells like seafood. <laughs> Like grape size, 
size oranges. They're $10 a pound. Well, between Henry Street and East Broadway Street and right below the Manhattan Bridge is the hidden Chinatown grocery. Thanks for the tour. Of course. See you guys. See you, Bing Buzz. <laughs> Second floor. Yo, I feel like there's like nothing up there. This looks new though. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh. Cool. Uh, this is Jane's Valoria. It's like vintage, old fashioned clothing items from the past 40 years. And they've been in this mall for about five years now. It was really expensive in there. Like a t shirt is like 170 and Something else is like 200 and I was like, these are high-end fashion. Honestly, the world doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> That's in an abandoned mall in Chinatown. And people know, like so many people are, were in there trying stuff out, buying things, and everything. Look, there's empty space around us right now. This is like a... Oh, office space. Like a WeWork. Year old WeWork, yeah, abandoned <laughs> WeWork. How cool would it be to have your office space, you have a creative studio? Mm, so much potential. That's pretty much what it's becoming up here, actually. Yeah, it really looks like... A working space. Where have we been? The other side of Chinatown. Oh, uh, what is this one? Um... Mm, I'm gonna guess. A clothing store. Clothing, clothing store, store. Yeah. yes. I guess. Wow. Our place. Hey, they have a window here, like a big window. This is a good space right here. Can you hear the music? Mm-hmm. What do you think this is? I'm in a... I'm in space. <laughs> oh, it's a video installation. Uh, whoa. Let's go in. Pika, let's be going there. Y-K-Y-K. -K. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting because they kept the first floor almost like original. Uh -huh. And up here is like a whole different world. And right here we have the supermarket. Supermarket. Alright, oh, that was a whole lot of changes I didn't expect to be honest. Word. Repurposed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, Teresa. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> welcome to New York. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so glad. And just watching y'all, y'all really helped us and gave us inspiration to come up here and everything else. And we just watched the walk the Brooklyn Bridge today. So oh, the walk. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It's stuck behind this, um, I guess, uh, some sort of delivery truck. And it's holding up the traffic now. Does this happen a lot? Huh? Does this happen a lot? Oh, no. <laughs> Come out? Oh, okay, okay. Enjoy! Take care. <laughs>